Okay, so we've now got a very cool looking sun, but there is one small issue with it. And that is because this glow effect is post-processing, it doesn't actually emit any light. So it looks like it is, but we should be able to see um, on the sides of the planets that light from that, that sun is hitting it, but it's not. It's only being created by that point light that we created earlier. So what we're going to do is create a new light and add it to the center of the sun, and we're going to use that to make it look like the sun's creating some light. Okay, so what we're going to do to do that is we're going to create a new point light. So create light, point light. Now, we've created that, and it's selected by default. And what we're going to do is with that selector, we're going to shift select the sun, and I'm going to press P, and that parents the light to the sun. You may get this error here, and I don't know what that's all about, but ignore it because it doesn't really hurt anything. So now that light is parented to the sun, and we've still got the light selected. So if we go into the channel box, you'll see that it's at a um, position of minus 24 on translate Y. And that's because it's taking its position from the sun. So if we set that back to zero, or make, if you've moved things at all, set them all, all three of these back to zero, that moves the light to the center of the sun, which is where we wanted it to be, which is very handy. Okay, so that's okay. We can now go into the attribute editor. Oh, continue. And just change some of the attributes of this sun. So the color needs to be kind of yellow. We need an intensity of about 2.5, which will seem very bright, but that's because there's no decay rate on it yet. We'll add a quadratic decay rate. And now, if you zoom in on the planets, you can see that that light is just hitting the size of the planets, which is really good. And it'll look really nice when you render it. And if you go further through my exercises, um, when you start animating and rendering that, that'll look superb. Okay, there's one final thing we need to do to this light to make it look really sexy. We're going to add a lens flare, which kind of makes it look like there's a mark on the lens of a camera. Which is a subtle effect, but it makes everything look a bit more sexy and expensive. So, we're going to make sure that the light is still selected. If it's not still selected, you could always go into wireframe and select it. Okay, but I've got it selected. Uh, and then what we need to do is, if you scroll down a little bit, there's a light effects section. And we're looking for the light glow. We're going to click on the checker box next to light glow. And that will create a new node, an optical FX node. And it's dead easy to set up this. You're just going to put a tick in the box for lens flare. And make sure the glow type and the halo type are set to none. And that will create a really nice lens flare. To be able to see it well, you might have to zoom in quite far, quite close on your sun. But if we render that now. Come on sun. There you go. And you can see these little spots here are the lens flare and again these look nice when they're rendered but even better when they're animated and rendered because they kind of move around a bit as well so that's the sun complete uh, and i think it looks damn sexy damn sexy close that